Alder Day, another achievement speedrun in Europa Universalis 4. This time I'll go for the Manchurian Candidate, where I'll start as Janzo with the goal of claiming the mandate and forming Ching. To achieve that, we have to unite our region form Manchu, beat the ass of Ming, take the mandate and multiple provinces and they're also take care of Oirat because we need one of the Mongolian provinces for formation of Qing. This is not like the hardest achievement ever, but I'm gonna show you how to do that in less than 10 years. So, let's get it started. Also make sure to subscribe to the channel to get notified about any future content, especially guys that I can see that only 50% of you are subscribing right now. You might remember that I did recently exactly this challenge in Masters of Universalis, but as Haishi which is significantly harder, so it is gonna be even easier as Janchu. I will start with the estates where we're gonna sell the titles, uh, summon the diet, which is uh, improving correlations of Oirat, doesn't really matter honestly. Uh, from tribes you're gonna get uh, bigger loyalty, as well as a higher manpower, later we're gonna also take morale farmies for the war against Ming, but that's gonna decrease some of the banners, that's definitely for later. Then let's go ahead and uh, recruit the banners themselves. It's gonna get us up to 15,000 and start recruiting a free combine, so up to 20,000. As to for the rivals, let's go for Haishi, uh, let's go for Orochomi, as well as uh, Korshin. You might want to start being rivals uh, after the month tick, around uh, the mo moment we'll be declaring the war, just so they're not gonna ally each other, but honestly, I don't care. And I'm gonna also disband the ships because I'm not gonna use them. As for these guys, focus on meal. Like the discipline guy, I don't think anything else. Maybe spy network, ah, level two. So as for the merchant, send him to China. Here, let's get the spy network. I'm gonna start being spy network on Haishi, as well as Ming. And you'll see that as soon as the merchant uh, merchant gets here to Beijing, I'm also gonna take spy network construction bonus on them. Now we can see the alliances. Haishi is allied to Orochomi. Orochomi is allied to only Haishi. Nana is allied to Korshin and. Usually they these two ally each other and Shiba is usually allying Janzu when you're playing as Haishi, but this time I'm playing as Janzu, so they're not allied. So I think I'm gonna start with attacking Haishi and taking Orochomi as a co-belligent. This way what I'll do, I'll stack wipe Haishi immediately, this 9000 here. And after that I'm gonna go and leave 3000 here while I'm focusing on Orochomi. Orochomi is having 10,000 troops, 9 to 10, so it's also not gonna be that easy. So 12 December, let's go here. Declare war for Jilin. Call these guys as co regions. I'm gonna take both in the same war. Now, this has to be a stack wipe because I have got tier ruler as the general. And unless I roll like complete shit, which I did, I'm not gonna wipe them. Okay, sometimes it happens. Leave the mercs on the siege and start carpeting the rest. Good thing is that we have Mountains Fort here, uh, which you're gonna use to potentially also wipe Orochomi. And I think that's why I'm gonna take these guys out of this province. Leave like 2,000, 3,000 here. Start carpet sieging. And we're gonna wipe these boys here. So, once I get this province, they're gonna start running away. Hopefully, you're gonna be on time to still catch them. 13th March, 16th March. Oh, this is so fortunate. Well, we can fight on the woods as well. That's not just not gonna be as good. I could also, well, let's save the Empire. I'm gonna back up here, get a new general with Siege, and I want to let these guys uh, in Hunsun. If they get into Hunsun, that should be an easy wipe. If they do not get there, I'm just gonna fight on the Mandas or whatever. Also, I of course forgot about putting the timer again, so let me just go and quickly turn it on. I mean, we've been playing for like, four to five minutes so far so it's not that much that we've lost from the timer started yeah boys these guys are not willing to fight let's just go and uh, unless i turn off the fort here and now bait them to come but i think i think they're just too scared i mean if i turn off the fort that's even better for me gonna save more money i think that might be even wipe here but no i think i'm again uh, not showing good enough which is fine, uh, they're gonna run away most probably to Yaran when I'm gonna wait them. Good night, now what I will do with this stack, I'm gonna consolidate my infantry, just so I'm not that much of my force to meet, I save my money and I decrease the amount of the infantry troops that we're having, send these guys on the siege, uh, send these guys on the siege, 
and start carpet switching everything so they do not build that much. Tolo, that's a nice event, I did not see that earlier. I can get uh, better stats of my ruler, 30 years old, or is it for the air? It's for the air, so I don't care, that's just lose prestige. Now, how fun is formation of Manchu? You see, see, you need 20 own provinces that is having a co provinces that Jerchen or March cultures. So if I go to cultures, everything that is Jerchen, I need to get 20 provinces, okay? Right now I'm starting with how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So I just need two more provinces, most probably from this. And once I call 20 provinces from this culture, and for Manchu, I'm gonna get, get the whole Manchuria region as full cores. So everything else that you did not core is gonna be full state. That's how OP forming Manchu is. And there's a couple of more things OP about that, but to that I'll move later. I might also get a little bit more efficient with my power projection. That's why I'm gonna go and scornfully insult core chin. Just to improve RPP. And I'm also gonna uh, embargo them as well as yeah, Haishi and Orochom are gonna both die. I feel I'm good to attack Nanai now, so same, Koroshin as a co-belligent for Ilanhara. I think they're gonna run away. I can start the piece out, so Orochom is separate piece first. Take all of these beauties, uh, I need just a diplomat. Oh my god, let's go this, this way. Full money, so not gonna go into a single loan. And we're gonna raise everything. I know that in a long-term campaign it is completely not worth raising it because this is gonna be all my course. But I'm raising it because we're gonna strictly for this achievement to get take mandate in form Ching. And for that we need as many as possible mill points to take tech 5 on military before Ming takes it. And Ming might be still even at tech 3 when I do that, but they're usually gonna be at tech 4 already. But or this little tech advantage is gonna steal a lot for you guys. Still, as some of these provinces are part of my state, like this is part of my state, this is part of my state, they actually cost a lot to core. I'm not even having enough admin points to core these provinces. This guy's actually bridge walls, but what I'm trying to do, and this is risky because I might lose the siege in the middle, but I want to wipe the troops of Nanai and then straight go and defend my capital. <laughs> if I lose it on 7%, that would be like extremely lucky and I gambled here a bit, but I'll be right now on time to go and attack them in the capital, which is a mountain, which should be a very straightforward easy battle. But most importantly, I'll be right now only dealing with these troops. I don't have to deal with any nine troops. See already take four at 1447 and this is absolutely OP. You know, it's all about me maxing as many wars as possible, calling as co belligerents because these guys all ally just one. Another guy, sometimes they ally two, but very rarely. And you see, right now I'm gonna just send my Merc stack to siege them again, this time Bodna. And as soon as I carpet siege Hor Korshin, I will go ahead and attack Shibe. And here again, I'm gonna start, you know, with trying to wipe the enemies right away, carpet siege, leave 3000 and go for the ally, which is, uh, I think, Nick. With Korshin's siege down, it's time to separate piece then. And as I co bolision them, it is also a full annex. A bit of, I guess, expansion, but we don't really care. And this is most importantly a lot of mana from raising. This is not part of Manchuria region, so uh, it's not that important promise for us. This racer, I think you can see already 250 uh, of mill points and should be also just enough to core everything except one province. And now when I piece out Nanai, I told you I only need to another two provinces to be cored. I'm gonna core three with the lowest development. So three dev province, three dev province, and three dev province, almost for free. And uh, since now I will not coring any other provinces in the Manchuria region. So anything that I conquer right now from Xibe, Nick and Solon not touching this. Now as I hit 150 development, I unlocked uh, Mercs. Uh, you see that, uh, you know, independent company and grant company, most important these two, they only unlocked when you have 150 development. And, uh, well, that's pretty easy to get it as Janzu. Should be able to, yeah, to recruit even more of banners, so they start reinforcing already. Have my troops ready here, time to attack Solon, they only have 6,000, so that should be also very straightforward. Now pissing out the last countries. I'll be having the whole Manchuria region uh, finalized. I'll just have to core these provinces and uh, for Manchuria and obviously Solon is still being sieged down. And this fort will be down right now, 49%. Thank you so much. It's... Uh, <laughs> yes, I'm cheating, guys. Don't worry. Uh, let me go ahead 
and race airing. And it is again for the same reason, we want to take tech 5 as fast as possible. I might even end up at attacking Ming before tech 5 because we did this airing so quickly, 14, 49, and we still lack a lot of points for tech 5. Ah, by the way, I'm over had the extension. This is fine, we just need this. This, this free to be court, right? We are currently having 18. With this free, it's gonna be over 20. And free Manchuria formation. Uh, let's go speed five. You are speed running after all, right? 92% uh, we are waiting for July. So, oh, oh no. I just turned off forts. Every normal player would just go and bear this, but I don't care. Just go and lose these rebels. It's gonna hurt my manpower a bit. But this is fine. I mean, instead of fighting on plus two, I'm fighting on minus two. How much did I waste here? 1.7 thousand is like nothing. With this promises court, before I click this, okay, two things that we have to notice. First of all, we see this is uh, all normal course. Once say for Manchu, not taking Manchurian ideas because uh, we see Manchurian start with morale and manpower. Manchurian ideas start with shit. Once I click this, you will see that this is all right now full course. And more importantly, the rise of Manchuria is decreasing mandate of Ming by 50. Okay, 50. And at the same time, I'm no longer, uh, you see, I'm becoming independent, which means I don't have truce for breaking the tributary. This allows me to go here and take shock damage with additional claims. United the Jurchen tribes with full 4 5 leader and 10% more of armies. And then I'm also gonna get uh, more because now it's time for stating. So state, 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 fully state. That means we're gonna have 11 for slimming of banners. That means I gonna got this, which is even more of the claims. Of course, we have cores on this process as well. Korea requests to become a tributary, and this is a bait. You know why? Because if you accept that, yes, they're gonna be your uh, uh, freaking tributary, but in most of the cases, they're gonna ally Mink. Why? They cannot ally Mink when they are their tributary. That's why we're gonna reject this request. What we should also do is to take care of our autonomy. See, it's very high everywhere. Uh, let's just go ahead. Start decreasing. I know that will be out of rebels, but again, the goal of this run is speed running for Mink, Chink, and taking mandate. So, we don't care about the future rebels. Just decrease. That makes our economy... Well, 10 ducats, this is not bad. Max Empire is 36, and more importantly, 30 of the force limit. So I can right now go ahead, and so I have 600 ducats, right? Not a single one, 600 ducats from uh, Kokori provinces, and I'll be able to sell titles in uh, two months. So let's just go ahead and recruit for 8,000, 10,000. Oh no, I don't have that much manpower. Let's recruit 6 more thousand of, uh, of CAF and start recruiting a Grand Company. That will make my army 43,000 and this is more than enough to clap the ass of uh, Mink. Even without Tech 5, yes, we're gonna go ahead and do this without Tech 5. If you want to go a bit more safe, you're not so sure about your skills, you can wait, uh, probably uh, like until 1451 to attack a Tech 5, but I'm gonna go crazy here. I can just go and recruit another free company. That's gonna be 50,000 troops, and this is fine. We can take a few loans. Uh, I mean, when I sell titles now and get an even cheaper calf, still good uh, uh, Kremlin, and got 400 ducats for the war. Few loans won't be a problem. So I've got two cuts here leaders. Uh, one leader is for Siege, and this is what I'm gonna uh, put on my uh, Merrick stacks. This 20,000 will be surging. Now take a look. When you attack Ming, your mission tree is absolutely broken. Let's go for Take Mandate of Heaven. And look. Uh, once I attack, I have immediately a mission called Bypass the Great Wall. Uh, what it does is that you're getting leader 2331, doesn't matter. But there are two important things. First of all, Xinyang Fort goes into your control right away. And I don't need this guy. Uh, why Beijing is getting minus 50% for defense. So when I get on this province, you'll see how fast it's gonna be sieged down. Just take a look that the siege phases are just 10 days. So if I scroll down to see how fast it's going, how fast, this is just gonna be an easy peasy. And of course, these guys are gonna, in the meantime, just uh, carpet siege and get ready to fight. Now, another important thing, besides waiting for tech five, if you want to really do it slower, you might also wait for Ming to attack Oirat, because around the time when you'll be taking Tech 5, 
it usually happens 1451 1452 is when in i don't know eight I, out of ten campaigns mink is gonna attack all that so then we're gonna have troops here you're gonna be easily searching this down but honestly i prefer when mink does not attack all that because you get out of war score for winning battles and winning battles is super easy with banners uh, advantage of the technology they are still at tech free and freaking calf and a horde. Just take a look. Our current. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I almost forgot. Uh, I can go here as well and take on the Moral of Armies and General Ghost. So now our morale is freaking 4.9. I could have even more if I was using morale guy here. Too bad he found my diplomat and twice he found my spy twice. I'll be having even more siege ability on them from spy network. Siege of Beijing took 240 days, which is actually more than expected. I can send this guy straight to Nanjing. Why my um, you know main fighting stack would be slowly carpeting uh, East China. How many troops they have? 130,000. We have to be cautious when going through China. That's why you see these little stacks. This 19k is always ready to reinforce anything. And Carpets is progressing. We already have 18% of the war score. If we wanted to only take Mandate, that's like 50%, right? But at the same time, we want our courts and we want Beijing, just Beijing without this one, and take as well also some money just to maintain, you know, good uh, good balance and be ready to attack Oirat because to from Qing you own, so I believe. Yes, you need a province over here from Mongolia. Now as so I'm about to fight my first battle against them, of course I have some rebels, we can go ahead next month and take Tech 5. So we'll see how much I'm gonna be destroying them. So look, they are already at Tech 4, so the Tech advantage is not that huge, but look how many troops they have here to be wiped. Well, let's see what's gonna happen. I'm gonna only send 24,000 for a little stack wipes festival. Chief consolidate 15,000 for a start. Not a problem. Hello there, Mr. Mink. And good night, Mr. Mink. How about we take care of this 14,000 now? Well, I'm gonna go speed 4 to speed this uh, uh, festival a bit. And we go to Wushan in the meantime. Please give me free war score for winning battles. I'm telling you, it's better when they do not attack Hoyrat because this is, see how much war score we can get from the battles. Who's next? Uh, not going to not go to the mountains. Let's go to Shenyang and kill everyone that you're gonna find on the way. How about we start here because this is an easy province to f yes goodbye. Another one in Beijing. Hello there. Shift consolidate. Goodbye, we already have killed 70,000 of the troops, but we're just getting started. We can get 40% up to, you know, for the bus. So far it's 26. Uh, I'm gonna wait for a month tick and try fighting with these guys. Not going so far away. I just wanted to wait for a month tick to recover my morale. I know it's 2v1 in the numbers here, but it's it feels like I am the one outnumbering here. Why am I here? Why don't I go and anyway take care of the rebel? So now I have already, yes, 40% war score for winning battles. 127,000 of them die, so they're down to just 30k troops. With max war score from battles, I have to focus on sieging them. I could peace out for mandate in this process already. And 1,000 nuggets. Well, this is it. I'm out. Mandate is ours, 60 of it is dropping. Of course, we are no longer a horde. So that's a bit of a pain, uh, but the goal here is to get the achievement, right? So we don't care about this. Let's just go ahead and, and uh, get a bonus here. We can get, I think, the infantry compatibility. I don't think the infantry compatibility. Trade power, tax meta, ship durability. Yeah, yeah, ship durability. Uh, I will go for the core creation cost. And uh, yeah, I only have one promise to be courts now. Just go ahead, maybe repay our loans and uh, prepare to attack uh, Oira. Actually, of course, it's so huge now, so not even paying for being over it. And let's see, can I make anyone my tributary? It's gonna be influence, establish tributary. No, everybody hates us. Oh, that to me, that's a great power already. Number six. In any case, Mr. Oirat, let's declare war. Uh, I have to declare on Mongolia, I guess, for conquest of Jude. I need shielding gold. Please, Karadel, why are you focusing on the promise that I need for the man for Yeah, okay. I thought they're gonna take it. Uh, these guys will be carpet sieging. Why my Merc stacks? I hope they are. Ah, oh, you're not longer attached. My Merc stacks. In the meantime, I'll send them straight for capital of Oirat to to get you know more war score. Especially that they are still stick free. Oh, whoa, whoa! Why do I forgot that I have uh, new estates? So let's go for Admin Mana. Let's go for prestige. Let's go for some uh, 
tick. Uh, I don't need one person loans. Uh, tolerance. Let's go for Shaman's Advin Mana. Cheaper Advisor. And uh, finally, this guy's Mil Mana. Cheaper. Cheaper. And this is it. Right now I can run three level 1 advisors and be absolutely fine with it. Now honestly, uh, that's gonna be a good thumbnail, right? They get the achievement in less than 10 years. Let's wait until it's gonna be... Uh, like, because I could peace out. I only need shilling gold to throw ching. You know what? Let's peace out already. Or maybe let's get them to low attitude to just take this bunch of the provinces. Remember, if I wanted, I could form Jink in August 1453, but I want to take more in this peace deal. How about I just gonna crash in the battle here? I'm attacking from the mountains, but uh, just maybe in case this guy should be reinforcing, but I'm having, yeah, I'm having two technologies advantage. So I'm just destroying them. Okay, now the Lord Attitude, April 1454. I can take all of these provinces and immediately for a chink. I don't remember the idea, so just gonna take them. Let's take a look. We are getting oh 20% cooperation goes against expansion impacts and more banners, manpower, more manpower, unrest, uh, meritocracy, admin efficiency, uh, state maintenance, uh, more of armies, prestige from land battles, and advisor cost. This is just perfect, guys. So see, 40 minutes in real time, easy as that. Honestly, I still prefer to play as uh, um, Horde, but you know, playing as an actual uh, owner of One Date of Heaven, it's a completely different type of the gameplay, so you might still try it, especially after 1.35 is released, because there's, there are gonna be some changes. But why don't grab an achievement before that with this easy guide that I just showed you? So, guys, if you do enjoy it, Remember to leave a like because it's helping a lot to boost the views and uh, let me know in comments what other achievement I should hunt next. And for today, thank you so much. Subscribe to the channel if you want to get notified about the future series and I'm gonna see you very, very soon. Bye.